No, no, she runs away. She won't stay. She's scared to come on here. Quiet. <laughs> You know, right before we start here, Kelly Greer, that would be the makeup artist for The Late Late Show, comes out here, and she gives me this final pad of powder. You know, without her, I look like hell, I have to tell you. And I threatened to hold her by the hand. I say, come on, Kel, stay out here and say hi to all the viewers. You'd love to see Kel. She's a good-looking woman, you know, yes. but she won't, uh, she won't come on here. We'll get her out here one night. You know? <clears throat> good evening, folks, and welcome back, everybody. It's the 3rd of May, 1995. Mary Madeline is here today, my former colleague over at CNBC. And my friend Tom Sullivan, who has a great new book out now on parents who face awesome responsibility and challenge and handle it beautifully. Uh, their kids have got some troubles that they help them to overcome. Let me talk to you here about uh, CBS for a second. This afternoon, I went over to a studio in Hollywood. Uh, we're in the process now of making the new fall promotional campaign to urge you to uh, make CBS your choice. And we're changing the whole look of the CBS promotional facility here. You know, for the last couple of years, and I'll run this in a second, don't, don't run it just yet. They ran, they, they've run this thing which we call the eyeball. And you see the CBS eye and the guy says, this is CBS and the music plays. Now, when we were over at CNBC, remember, you and I and Horowitz and all the people, we would go through the hallways at CNBC just to make them angry. And we go, dun, 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 you know, CBS. And so I learned today that this is soon going to be extinct. It's going the way of the dinosaur, and that next year, rather than have a disembodied voice say, this is CBS, they'll have me and David Letterman and all the other CBS stars who are too numerous to mention here tonight say, this is CBS. You're on CBS. And then I say, you want late night? I'll give you late night. <laughs> you want controversy? I'll give you controversy. So for, the, for one of the last times, I think, I think it's going now because our campaign is, it's amazing. Uh, <laughs> and usually when stations see the eyeball, it's their cue to take us off the air. I'm going to run this. Please do not take this program <laughs> off the air. We will continue here right through to the normal completion time at 1.37. So anyway, say farewell. Here it is for one of the last times. Dun, 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 dun. Roll it. This is CBS. It is nice, you know. Remember when we got rid of the chimes at NBC, what happened? Yeah. <laughs> uh, at my peril, uh, viewer mail from uh, Prodigy. This is from Andreas Dervold in Sweden. Greetings from Sweden, Tom. I watch it all the time via satellite. Want to believe this now? We now leap the pond and we're seen in Scandinavia, in Sweden. Keep up the good work, or as we say in Sweden, for sat saher. For sat saher. <laughs> You want for Sat Sahar? <laughs> Dear TS, I got my autograph photo a few days ago. I have one important question. The autograph looks real, but is it your signature, genuinely, genuinely written by your hand, signed Alan Bone? It is, as a matter of fact, my signature. We fake nothing here. Finally, dear Tom, in closing an ad from last week's LA Times, seems your hairdo is catching on with the wrong people. Is the model in the ad a member of your family, signed Jack Wagner? Put the picture up, please. <laughs> Call me, fellas. I can make it better. <laughs> you want it to work for you? <laughs> Finally, for all who called and wrote today about mom, she's doing much better. I went to see her at the hospital this afternoon, and tea, she looked like hell. You know, you see your mom uh, through the eyes of uh, being a five-year-old kid and a 15-year-old teenager, and, you know, mom was strong and vibrant and alive, and... And now she's 86 years old, and the, you know, time is catching up, and you see mom in a hospital bed with the oxygen in her nose and the IV here to keep her from dehydrating, and <sighs> it's very, very difficult. However, my daughter went down there later on this afternoon, and by 5.30 or 6 o'clock today, she was wondering whether or not we could stop by her home and pick up her pajamas, uh, her comb, her brush, and, and her, her earrings and hairnets. So... <laughs> She was complaining about the food, so she's, <laughs> she's getting better. Thank you. Mary Madeline tonight from CBS in Washington, D.C. By the way, I believe we are premiering the, uh, the CBS studio tonight, are we not? Correct. Sir. Okay, so we'll take a look at Mary in the brand new uh, Late Late Show uh, studio back in, uh, in uh, Washington. And then from right here in the studio, right here on, uh, on Fairfax and Beverly, Tom Sullivan is here. Settle back, fire up a color teeny, simultini, whatever's in the medicine chest, and watch the pictures as they fly through the air. Look out, here they come. <laughs> 